Don't adjust your screens because what you're seeing is believing for the third time today. This is why I urge everybody to click the bell, subscribe, turn on all notifications. Make sure the settings are turned on on your cell phone and make sure to legitimately, authentically make sure that that bell is shaded and so you get all notifications. Because you might say, well, Sean, you did three videos, but I only got one. You did three videos, but I only got two. That is why it is so crucial and evident to literally go up and down my channel, refresh my YouTube channel multiple times a day. Again, I try to give you guys hourly content in the morning, in the afternoon, at night, and even in between, even midnight, I might even drop a video. We do it all. We are totally interactive. We are smash mouth. We are in your face. And remember to become a channel member today. All this a myth. All this amidst the untimely passing of my brother, the tragic ending of my brother's life at just 50 years of age. Amidst all this, I am trying to still give you guys everything I see, read, hear, and know. I am still trying to keep everybody in the know on everything WWE. So this is the show, guys. This is where it all takes place. This is where all the magic happens. And, of course, this show is not possible. It's not even probable without your expressions, your comments, your views, and your opinions. Because, remember, this show might be called Sean's View, but ultimately your view is the only view that matters on this very website. And, again, I want to thank everybody for all your comments and all your sorrows and, and, and all your respects as they continue to pour in uh, for the shocking and untimely death of my brother John. Now, kicking this thing into high gear here, because as we all know, the show must go on and show it will. How far in advanced AEW planned Brian Danielson's all-in match? Now, contrary to popular belief, and plans can change. Make no mistake about it, plans can uh, obviously and abruptly change especially to fool the websites, the dirt sheets, the wet, and the newsletters. Make no mistake about that. But is Daniel Bryan actually going to win the AEW world title tomorrow night? Because you see, there's a lot of people that are under the assumption that he's going to retire. He's going to leave. This is the end. And yes, it is true that Bryan Danielson, Daniel Bryan, again, whatever you want to go by, is dealing with uh, you know a number of nagging injuries, and he is going to have to uh, retire sooner than later. However, however, in saying that, injuries aren't as bad as originally thought, according to those in the know. So we're going to see just how much he holds up. Also, Enzo Amore, is he returning to the WWE now that it's under the Triple H era? Do you want to see the return of Enzo Amore on WWE programming? Now, listen, obviously, this guy had his wrongdoings. You know, obviously, this guy shuffled up the backstage area. Obviously, this guy rubbed a lot of people the wrong way, but there's no mistake in that this guy was epic on the mic. He was entertaining. He was compelling. He may not have been the biggest or the best wrestler. He may not have put on a Ricky Steamboat, Ric Flair outing. But the man knew how to cut a promo. The man knew how to interest you. He knew how to invest you. Is Enzo Amore on the way back to the WWE? Bada bing, bada boom. Who's the realest guys in the room? How you doing? Let's be honest. Had the rug not been pulled underneath, had Enzo and Big Cass not had their issues and their problems and their dramas, I think ultimately they could have went down as being one of the greatest tag team champions of all time. Hell, dare I say, they might have went in the WWE Hall of Fame one day. Now, if you're just looking at their work in NXT in their early main roster days, that might hold something. But boy, did the bottom drop out for those two fellas. And it's it's really sad how, it, how dramatic of a fall it was for Enzo and Big Cass as soon as they went to the main roster. Also, ladies and gentlemen, you saw the title. You saw the headline of the video. Now, oh, Sean, it's going to be Bobby Lashley. It's going to be MVP. Or it's going to be somebody else that the WWE released. Now, that very well could be. Now, we, we may not just see one WWE star perform. Well, we, we know half the AEW roster is made up of former WWE stars. We already know that. But another top name, another top star, another draw in the company, could be arriving for AEW All-In. Now, who or what is going to happen? Who is going to shock the world? No, it's not going to be the Shockmaster. 
Is it going to be a main roster talent that's going to show up at AEW All-In to the shock and to the surprise of everybody? And it may not be who you think. It may not be Bobby Lashley, ladies and gentlemen. It may not be who you suspect. Then again, Lashley and MVP could show up, but there could be a number of other appearances, and maybe one of them being from the WWE. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. And could it be from somebody from Raw? Could it be someone from NXT? Or could it be somebody from SmackDown for AEW All In tomorrow night? Now, it's a big fight feel. We know tonight there's a big boxing match, big boxing fight. And we know tomorrow night we got AEW All In. Now, you see the thumbnail and people say, oh, there's no way Randy Orton can show up at AEW All In. Well, Randy Orton has been All In in the WWE. Randy Orton has never went to another promotion. He has never went to another company. He never went to TNA. WCW was already well out of business by the time Randy Orton made his way into the business, so to speak. So Randy Orton has always had his allegiance with the WWE. Now, Randy Orton could have signed with AEW. Randy Orton could have went elsewhere. But Randy Orton chose to stay in the WWE. Now, we all know Randy Orton has a big monumental match for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship against Gunther at the Bash in Berlin. Now, that's going to be one hell of a match. That's going to be competitive. And Randy Orton is going to give it everything he has. But at this stage of the game, can Randy Orton get to that place in his career against Gunther, who is as dangerous and as volatile as a world champion that we have had in recent memory? That's going to be a tough one for the Viper, Randy Orton. Mercedes Monet, guys, listen to this one. Breaking news on Sasha Banks. Listen to this one, guys. Logistical issues nearly derailed Mercedes Monet's first WWE Championship victory. Things could have been a lot different for Sasha Banks, the boss. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a belief that an ex-WWE personality believes that Rowdy Ronda Rousey didn't care about wrestling. Or did she just care about that payday? We got some breaking news, guys. Obviously, you know, when talking about my brother passing and my brother dying, boy, is this, this is actually hard to uh, think about. Matt Hardy pays homage to Bray Wyatt on the one-year anniversary of his passing. Yes, the one-year anniversary, guys. I cannot believe it. This is crazy. Absolutely crazy, guys. Wow. Rhea Ripley shuts down J.D. McDonough with a brutally profane comeback. And this thing has been going back and forth, and this thing is really reaching a level of intense. Intense is what it is. That's the name of the game at the end of the day. Ladies and gentlemen, 83-year-old Dory Funk Jr. took an exploding baseball bat shot during the FMWE event. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. We all know the late, great Terry Funk who left us earlier um, this year. Uh, Dory Funk still going in there and taking his shots, taking his blows, but uh, at no point should an 83-year-old man be taking an exploding bat. Uh, That just probably isn't the smartest of ideas. I hope he's okay. Um, Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. Remember, if it's not brash, well, then it's trash. Subscribe, become a channel member today. Plenty more to come. Multiple videos a day. Click that bell. Sean View is your rating source for WWE in the know. Later.